Good morning and welcome to Sunday Morning with Prime of Midlife. It is Sunday Morning Hall, again Tesco's, 6 o'clock this morning. There was I doing my thing. So let's have a look at what we've got. The total, there we go, was 122.57 and with the club card stuff, 114.17. So that is where we are. Now, to start with, we got some fresh veg because what I want to do is I want to can some bolognese. So of course that's your peppers, onions, carrots. Now I know that's a big bag of carrots, a big bag of onions. Anything I don't use, I can dehydrate. We got some small baby potatoes because I'm going to make some potato salad for lunches for this week. So that's that planned. And of course, mushrooms for the bolognese. Cucumber and iceberg for um, salad for lunch. So then I went, I, if you saw the video yesterday, you'll see that I was a bit freaked out and decided, no, I'm going to have to prep more. So I got Duracell batteries. They were on offer two for £10. So I saved a fiver buying two of them on the thing. So I thought, right, it's Duracell. They're supposed to be better. I'll just get them. Then we have the two curries that we eat, the korma and the butter chicken. Now, there was something hinky about this. The, the offers for the... The sweet corn, you could get four small ones for whatever and three big ones for whatever. And this one was a much better value deal. So that's why I've got that. Soya sauce, obviously, for rice. Lentils, because we go through a lot of lentils for soup here. We really, really do. Jasmine rice. I've never tried jasmine rice, um, but we do go through a lot of rice. So I may as well have that as well. So we'll pop them back there. Um... A tin of bean sprouts just because, just in case. Tin of chicken and white sauce. Second tin of chicken and white sauce. Korma. Spam. I'm sure there's another spam there somewhere. Um, four tins of tuna. Another jar of mayonnaise. Um, two tins of pork because, again, this is the one. It had an offer on the smaller tins, which didn't actually work out as good. As buying two of the big tins. Oh, there's my other spam. So yeah, I got some tin stuff that's going to keep. I also got butter and lard. They're going in the freezer. Um, to keep. I got Heinz salad cream. I know it was expensive. I'm not happy about it. However, oh, and it's seventy percent less fat. I'm even less happy about that. Um, that's like three times now when there's been no Tesco salad cream. So. I thought I'm just going to get it just in case. Lemon juice for jam making. Couldn't find pectin for loving the money. Even asked the staff and there was no pectin. And of course gravy granules for emergencies. I also got the diced beef. It was an Aldi price match. So I've got three of them basically because I want to can them. Um, I've got chicken. I've got pork. I don't have beef canned as yet. And obviously in the winter stews etc. So I want the beef canned. And again, my wee treat to go in the freezer, the garlic breast chicken cake. So that's that. Then, onto packets, we have the two perfect mash, cheesy and buttery. My noodles, because I like my noodles. Then there's four long grain rice, four basmati rice, the, the microwave rice, just because they're good to have in the cupboard. Now, coffee. As you know, I'm mainly a tea drinker. But I've been having coffee in the morning and I have to say, if you remember, I bought my flask, I think last week. Now, this flask I got out of Tesco. It was £25. I nearly had a heart attack. But my dad had always sworn by Thermos, so I got it. Now, I filled this at probably one o'clock yesterday afternoon. Opened it last night to have a coffee at Patrick's. Opened it this morning at 7 o'clock when I was heading home from Tesco's and the coffee was still hot and drinkable and I mean hot with a bite to it. So I mean that's perfect. You make it mid-afternoon one day and you can still drink it the next morning. Absolutely blown away with that. So really happy I got that. So I've got some more coffee. 
and I've got Coffee Mate because I like Coffee Mate and I was getting a bit sort of hinky about what if it runs out because I go through a lot of it. My wee treat to myself, we all know I do chocolate, what can I say? Then we have the non-food preps. Now we've got some feminine products here. Um, just to have, we've got matches, I've got cold and flu remedy, I've got one of those wee pound, pound pressed deodorants, bin bags because you have to have bin bags and oh my goodness check the literage because I bought bin bags that were too small for my bin forever. The compostable caddy liners because Air Pencil uses them and I got Zip Seal food bags. Now the reason I got them is because I've saved a lot of stuff in the freezer and some of it gets freezer burn not a lot i've only caught it once recently um but i'm thinking this is going to be better if i put them in my normal bags and then put them in the ziploc bags and of course we have toothpaste and fly spray because there's a lot of flies just now and if we get a hot summer again next year um and there's problems with chemicals and importing and stuff i thought i'll just get that just now so there you go that is my shop for this morning. So what I'm going to do is absolutely nothing. Go and have a cup of tea and a break. Upload this video. And then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to start splitting it up. Putting it to where it should be. And then later today I'm going to be pressure canning the beef. I've got mince out so that I can make bolognese once the mince defrosts. Um, and that will make... Because if we remember... I think we had this before 400 grams of pork or something and it was one jar or I think it was one and a bit so you know if I've got bigger jars then I'm going to get more in so I need to fill the pressure canner if I'm putting it on so there you go that's my Sunday morning I'm going to have a cup of tea now and I will catch you later